Today, the police were on their knees looking for bullet casings. Three men suffered gunshot wounds. One remains in hospital after what detectives describe as a disorder. Regent Road, a normally quiet residential area of Hansworth, was cordoned off for much of the day. You're looking around this way and that way when you walk in. It is frightening. Where we used to live, those people shut down his road. So it's just normal life now, isn't it? It's becoming more of the ordinary, and you kind of do wonder, is, is the world becoming EastEnders? It's far from EastEnders, but in the past, the B21 postcode was linked to one of the strongholds of a notorious Birmingham gun gang. A few years ago, a police chief was predicting that gun crime could be eradicated from this part of Birmingham, thanks to tough sentences and also mediation to stop reprisal shootings. But in the last few months, we've seen what's been described as a spate or a surge in gun crime. Since last October, across Birmingham, two men have died and at least 14 wounded in separate shootings. Four men were shot in the legs at one supermarket. Shots were also fired at Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. There has been a large surge in gun crime. Many people do blame it on gangs. But as far as we understand, some people are not in gangs. And it's just something now being done at random, which is more concerning. Hi, Hi. One nearby housing association has installed extra security and is about to move premises, blaming the rise in violent crime. We're finding it more and more difficult to actually get people to, you know, to live in the area, in kind of Hansworth area, to, to rent properties or even buy properties at all, because the confidence around the area is that because of the shooting, it's not going to be safe, their children are not going to be safe. So business is really bad in this kind of area at the moment. The blue and white police tape has been decorating the streets of Birmingham this Christmas. No sign yet of peace or goodwill.